Wishing I was knee deep in the water somewhere. Got a blue sky breeze and it don't seem fair. Only worry in the world is the tide don't reach my chair. Sunrise has a fire in the sky. Never been so happy, never felt so high. And I think I might have found me my own kind of paradise. At sun, sea, and free. in the lock the gates not opening and it almost closed on me as I came in so I rang the number and now the technician is going to try and fix it so um now I wait I'm just lying here we're stuck. In the lock. Can't go anywhere, can't do anything. This is it. just chilling but then being the fisherman he is even gonna give it a go in the lock he's having a fish in the lock stuck in the lock on the way out and we got out and it was so choppy and there white caps everywhere and it just didn't feel right I just had that ick feeling so we motored out maybe 15 minutes and I just was I just had to turn around so I turned around came back in this time no trouble through the lock but the winds picked up and the boat was getting pushed all over the place so I got super anxious more anxious than normal more stressed than normal and I do get stressed a lot when I birth the boat um, because the current is all over the place and the wind and I have this big ass freaking bridge that if I don't there's a possibility of hitting that and then there's a possibility of hitting that and that um, and then the way that my where my birth is when you come around if the if the current's strong it kind of pushes you into this boat so I was freaking out because all the way in through the lock the boat was getting pushed and um, I freaking did a really good birth <laughs> it was it was perfect it, it worked so um, my heart's oh, slowing now my Garmin came up saying <laughs> relax reminder <laughs> But, yeah, I'm actually really glad to be back alongside 
which is weird, but when we went out, there was just white caps everywhere. And like I have sailed it on the test sail when it was quite windy and she handles fine and she's super safe. But today I just didn't feel, I just didn't feel it. So back alongside, letting the heart slow down now. And that is why I felt like we shouldn't go out today. Because this would be the time we would be coming back in and I wouldn't have been able to get back in. I was always taught to respect Mother Nature, especially our oceans. As soon as your ego jumps in that front seat and you think you know more than Mother Nature, that's when trouble comes. So that whole day, it was just panning out to feel ick. Um, I'm a big believer of trusting your body. Your body always knows. And as soon as I have that feeling, I, that intuition that comes in, I always trust that. And in the footage of us sailing, that was actually the best part of the trip. It got very, very white cappy. And I trust Tamahini. She is a solid, solid boat. And I have actually sailed her in a lot windier weather, but the gusts were just so unpredictable. It was all over the shop. And then I just decided that, um, yeah, we needed to head in. The footage later, when you saw the entrance of the lock and all that churning water, it was so much more worse in person. And having a full keel on my yacht is makes maneuverability quite difficult. And if the lock, you have to normally do donuts there to wait until the lock equalizes with the water and then the the gate opens so as all that water there was churning that's where i would have had to do donuts and it was i don't know what they were doing they may have been dredging or something but whatever they were doing then there was no way i would have had been able to hold control of my vessel so listening to that gut intuition knowing that i had to head back and then missing that window where that water was just all over the shop it was an absolute godsend and I'm thankful to my parents who always taught me from day dot, respect the oceans and you know, it's just such a powerful force and um, follow, follow, your, follow your body's intuition because it will never lie to you. So it was a great day, learned lots of lessons, birthed it, birthed it really amazing so that was really great for my confidence. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back out there. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thank you for joining me for another incredible episode of Sun Free. Sending so much love.